Hi everyone, welcome back to the Innovate Kitchen. So today is our second festive video vlog and it's a turn to look at the main course. It's a little bit of an alternative to turkey. We're going to be looking at stuffed pork loin joint. So we're going to be stuffing that with um, apples and prunes from the Prince's Tin Fruit range uh, and sausage meat. It's a really nice, savoury, really flavourful festive dish. The first thing we need to do with this uh, lovely little pork loin joint is we need to remove a pocket of meat from the top uh, and this little area here is going to be a space where we can put the stuffing in. Uh, and the reason I need to remove a pocket is if you don't then the stuffing will seep out of the meat and it will not be stuffed in the end. So as you can see I'm just working my knife down create a pocket on either side and you will feel it come away like so uh, leaving a gap there now this I've done this at the top of the joint because otherwise if you do it nearer the bottom or even in the middle the weight of the meat as it cooks will push and it will force the stuffing out again so this needs to be as close as you can to the layer of fat there but also um, just a decent enough size to really fill enough stuff in in there. Uh, so there we go. Now what we're going to do with the meat that's left over, none of it will go to waste. Um, I will just dice it up and add it into the sausage meat that we're using in the stuffing. And it will give it depth and flavour and texture. So moving on to the stuffing mix. So in this bowl here we've got um, the pork sausages that I've simply taken the skins off and given them a good mix up. And we've also got the pork that we took out of the joint before that's been finely diced, still quite chunky, got a bit of texture to it, and that's also mixed in with the sausage meat. So to the sausage meat pork mix we add the Prince's prunes. And we're just going to add some really nice sticky caramelised flavours in there. And we add our tin apple mix, which obviously pork and apple is the marriage made in heaven. Now to hold this mix together and to sort of soak up some of the moisture so it doesn't fall apart, in here we've got quite a few breadcrumbs and when we've got garlic, we've got thyme and we've got cracked black pepper. Uh, it's important to note I'm not adding any extra salt to this because it's quite a salty dish anyway. You're going to get quite a lot of natural salt coming out from the pork as it cooks. So just pop all that in there and then literally just wants to be all stirred together. You can stir this as hard as you want, you don't have to damage it. The fruit can break up, it's absolutely fine. Just need to make sure that all the breadcrumbs are incorporated into the sausage meat. And that's your stuffing mix. So now we've made the pocket, all we need to do, uh, excuse the gloves, um, it's quite a messy job, so I'll leave that up to you if you want to wear any. But all we need to do now is fill the pocket with stuffing. It's quite a firm stuffing mix, so this should be quite easy to do with minimum mess and fuss. And you just push it down really quite hard. You need it to be really full so it doesn't collapse while you're cooking. A little bit over full if anything. And now filling up this pocket will bring the meat back to shape. To the same size it was when it was brought. There you go, just like that. Now this piece of meat, a piece of meat this size, um, a bit of a tip to get really good crackling on top. Firstly is to salt the meat, um, and this is what I would do. I would pad down the, the uh, crackling first with some kitchen roll to get rid of any excess moisture. So generously sprinkle that in salt and leave it at room temperature for 20 minutes. Now this is going to bring out excess moisture. Then wipe all that moisture and salt off the meat again with kitchen roll. And then re-salt just before you put in the oven. So put generous cover in and that's going to season it as it cooks. So once you've done the salting procedure, it goes into a baking tray. And for a meat, piece of meat this size, I would give it 60 minutes at 220 degrees fan, which sounds like a lot, but that will really crisp up your crackling. Now once that's had 60 minutes at that temperature, reduce the temperature down to 170 degrees for a further 15 minutes just to finish it off and then remove from the oven and rest for another 15 minutes and you should have perfect crackling and lovely tender pork. So here is our stuffed pork roast dinner 
Uh, you'll notice in the background I've just used any extra stuffing and made it into balls and roasted it through the oven, serving it with roast potatoes, red cabbage and traditional Christmas sprouts. Just going to finish it off now with a spiced cider gravy. And the recipe for that is on the recipe cards.